today we're headed out to Ray Roberts State Park. It's about an hour north of the Dallas area and one of the most used parks in Texas. In fact, if you judge it by how many people come here each year, it is the most visited state park in the state. And we're headed that way right now to check it out. We're entering the state park system through the Ile de Bois unit of this state park system. Ray Roberts State Park, or Lake Ray Roberts State Park, perhaps might be a better way to refer to it, is made up of actually nine different units or state parks, satellite state parks and things like that. Three of them could be nice state parks in their own right. Uh, and then the other six are uh, a couple of marinas and boat launches and, and one place that has a lot of equestrian trails and things like that. And while I'm talking about equestrian trails, a, this state park is got just about every type of activity you would want in a state park from hiking, biking, equestrian, paddling, fishing, skiing, you name it. You can, anything that's at a state park, you can pretty much do it right here. And we're going to check in right here at the Ile de Bois unit for Lake Ray Roberts State Park. Coming up on the dam and spillway for Lake Ray Roberts in North Texas, about an hour north of the Dallas area. It's a beautiful lake. Uh, it's got some really interesting aspects about it. For example, it is a Corps of Engineer lake, but virtually all the shoreline is state park. Now that's kind of neat because in Texas, the uh, there is no requirement for a fishing license if you're fishing pretty much from the shore in a state park. So just about anywhere on this lake you can fish without a fishing license. But remember, the lake itself is a Corps of Engineer lake. So that means if you're out on a boat on the lake, you need a state license, but a uh, fishing license. But if you're fishing from shore or anywhere like that, you don't. We're here at the floodgates of the Ray Roberts Dam. This is in the Ray Roberts Lake State Park Green Belt Unit. Um, it is one of the three units uh, that are major units and operated basically as though it's their own state park. They have their own managers and their own everything, okay? But 
uh, the trail is great, and then the river goes on down there. You can catch all kinds of stuff. You can ride your bike, your horse, you can hike. Great trail. It goes from here to Denton, pretty much. And they put this here to let you know this is still, you're still fishing in the Ray Roberts Lake State Park, which means you don't need a fishing license. But in reality, where we're going to see over here where the really good fishing is, is technically a Corps of Engineers property and not part of the state park. But the state park claims it, everybody claims it and as part of the state park, so you don't need a uh, fishing license. All right, let's go check it out. The main attractions for the Greenbelt Corridor are this great trail that goes from Ray Roberts all the way pretty much down to Denton and for bicycles, hikers, or equestrian, and then the fishing. The uh, uh, branch of the Trinity River comes out down here, there's got a great place you can fish for crappie and things like that, as well as fishing in the spillway of Lake Ray Roberts, or rather the dam floodgates, maybe, be a better way of putting it. 